TV. Darkness. The cover of darkness allows for all kinds of crime and mischief. It's my job as a private detective to bring those dastardly deeds into the light. See, being a detective is far more than just looking for clues and facts. It's about trusting your gut. And some folks, they just don't have what it takes. But me, I was made for this, designed to do this. That's why they call me Guy Lacey, Gumshoe. I did it again. I know I have another one of these somewhere. No. No. Ah! Yes! Just stay in the lines this time, guy. Here we go. Business had been a little slow, but boy, did I have a feeling that was about to change when she walked through my office door. Antoinette Choose a Lot, heiress of the once popular Choose a Lot of Gum Company. Hi, Detective Lacey. I'm Antoinette Chuzalot, and I need your help. Hello? Sir? Yeah, I'm so sorry. Uh, please, take a seat right here. Forgive me. Um, alright. You said your name was, um, Amelia Crinkle Fries or something like that? <laughs> now, I've heard a lot of pronunciations, but that one's a doozy. The name's Antoinette Chuzalot, but my friends call me Nettie. Wait. Choose a lot of. Isn't that like a famous gum company or something? Do you have some gum on me right now? Please, I'll take whatever you have. Can you can, I, can you give me a piece? Just whatever. Surprise. Seriously? Well, I guess, but. Yes. <gasps> spearmint. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Spearmint. Yeah, I, I know. It was spearmint. <laughs> See, there it is again. What is that? It's spearmint! Lady, I'm not talking about the gum anymore. I'm talking about the noise. <gasps> it's my dog. His name is Spearmint. And besides, the gum's strawberry. I think your taste buds are messed up. Yeah, they probably are. Probably due to all the crayons I ate as a kid. Anyway, uh, Miss Chuzalata? What brings you to my office today? How can I help you? When... As she told me her story, it became quite clear to me that she needed someone smart, focused, and detailed to take this case. Boy, had she come to the wrong place. See, this gal was in a pickle, all right. Her family valuables had been stolen right from her safe in the middle of the night. There had been another private investigator, but when he disappeared, no other PI with half a brain would touch it. Good thing I don't have half a brain. This was going to be a tough one. Biggest problem I see, she has no idea what we're even looking for. She never saw what was in the box in that safe. <laughs> so you see, all I have left is this letter from the other guy. He says whatever's in the box is scattered all over the area. The case, it, it, it went cold in the North Georgia mountains. The last I heard from him was this letter before he disappeared. idea what was in this treasure? No. I mean, for all I know, it could be more jewels, more money. It could be priceless. No. It could be junk. So who could be responsible for this? Like, well, who else knows about this treasure? All I know is the guy that took it, that criminal. Well, what are your thoughts? Detective Lacey, listen, I'm not trying to rush you, but I have to know, are you up for the case? 
Listen here, lady. You think your little story scares me? No, I don't do scared. See, I haven't slept with a nightlight since last week. I've got nerves of steel, dollface. There hasn't been a single case that I've solved yet. You mean have it solved? Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. So you'll take the case? Yes, ma'am. Consider it taken. Thank you, Detective Lacey. Now remember, my father's left me a lot of money. And if you can find my family's treasure, then you can expect to be paid very handsomely. I'll be back in one week to see how far you've come and see if you can make any sense of this letter. Wait, 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 Miss Chuzalata. If I have any questions, how do I get a hold of you? Oh, I'll be in touch. Are you sure you've got this? Oh, I'm on the case. And with that, she was gone. She walked out that door and out of my life forever. I never saw Antoinette Chuzalata again. She never stopped in, she never called, and she never paid anything. Just poof and disappeared. I looked at that letter for years and never made any sense of it. I often think about that treasure. What was it? Is it worth anything at all? I may never know, but someday, a talented gumshoe might just be able to find that treasure. And when they do, I hope it's all it's cracked up to be. Anyway, there's this stuff in the letter about a waterfall or something. I don't know. Can somebody else just figure this out for me, please? <laughs>